tried to find the gaskets for the teardrop lights online and I couldn't find them very easily so I decided to make my own. So I went to the auto parts store, picked up this gasket material, cork gasket material, and that's your part number but you can get it at any auto parts store pretty much. <clears throat> and uh, what I did is I took my lens and I traced it out onto a piece of paper, cut this shape out on a piece of paper and then I set that in the housing and marked the holes like the mounting hole here and this is the light the, where the light bulb goes um, and kind of got this avocado shape um, but it worked pretty good so I transferred that to the cork gasket material got that cut out and ended up with this but what I didn't like about having just the gasket in there like that and leaving it the natural cork color is that when you look inside it's it's really dark inside because that cork is absorbing all the light so what I decided to do was take some of this aluminum tape that I had laying around from the roof insulation that I had put in from redoing the roof on the trailer and I made a little piece and put it on, uh, stuck it to the cork, but you have to leave like an eighth of an inch border all the way around so that the lens can still seal on the cork, but you'll have your reflective material in there. So now when you put this on, you can see that huge difference in that it's shiny in there and reflective and that'll reflect the light of the, uh, the bulb a lot better too and this lens is really dirty so I still need to clean it but it's a good example here I'll do it again that's the with the reflective foil tape on there and this is without that reflective foil tape in there big difference so it'll be nice to uh, get the cork on there or have the gasket on there because if you don't this is what happens See that dirty water and that dust gets inside the lens and dulls it out and it just gets all filthy. So if you can keep it sealed up, it would be a lot better. But that's how it works. So it would be nice to have some, some gaskets on all the marker lights. Thanks for watching. Here it is installed in the light and I did an LED conversion on this light. This is the original light and I painted the base silver paint. And that's how it looks with the uh, foil backing sticking out. Unfortunately I don't have all my trailer wiring done so I can't turn it on for you. But it looks pretty good.